Okay, in Chinese, this is pronounced Yue Xiao, but I'm going to say Yu Xiao. The Yu Xiao EDM, by the way, I don't know why it's named EDM. It's $25 on Speedcube Shop or less if you use the discount code JPERM. And it's a really unique cube compared to the cubes nowadays, but it's not that unique if you compare it to the Whale on GTS, which is very similar. The cube is very light and turns very fast, but that also depends on the settings you put it on, which I will talk about a little bit later. As I was turning, I didn't feel that the corner cutting was that good, but it may just be the speed impeding with my ability to turn accurately. When I tested the corner cutting, it was actually quite good, as in pretty much just as good as any other cube nowadays. By the way, this cube only comes in stickered, which is really weird because stickerless is super popular nowadays. The really cool thing about the Yu Xiao EDM is adjustable magnets without taking anything in and out of the cube. You can move these magnets to be on the inner setting or the outer setting, and the outer setting is the one with stronger magnets. The reason this works is because anytime you have something that turns, if you push on the outside, it applies a stronger force than if you push on the inside. These do absolutely nothing. We have a screwdriver and replacement core, and we have a replacement spring compression part as well as a spring compression tool. So if you don't know what this does, this was in the GTS-3 and the WR. And what this does is you put it on here inside the centerpiece, and you can turn this to change the strength of a spring inside the cube. I have a full video explaining why this is so good, and it's comparable to the GAN spring system. But to sum up how it works, when you turn this, it can go higher or lower, and if you turn it to go to the highest, then the springs are at their strongest, meaning that the turning will be a little bit slower but more controlled. It has basically no impact on corner cutting, so you should be turning the screws to try and get the best corner cutting before worrying about these springs. Actually, the accessory box also has extra magnets. So here's an edge piece which has the adjustable magnets, and uh, if you take it apart, you can actually take each of these things out, and once you do that, you can even take the piece with the magnet in it out as well. And as soon as I felt like I was getting somewhere, I don't think you can actually take the magnet out of this. Wait, actually you can. I just put the other magnets onto it and it attracted this one out. I'm not going to try switching out these magnets because you can already adjust their strength a little bit, so I don't think this is worth doing. And plus, I don't think there are enough magnets in here to actually do that. These are probably just replacement ones in case you lose any of the ones that are already here. I personally prefer magnets on the inside, and while this is a fast cube, I feel like this is an exception to when I say fast cubes require stronger magnets. And the reason I say this is because this cube is really light and I feel like my turning style on a lot of other cubes compared to this has to be different. And this reminds me not just kind of, but exactly of the Weilong GTS. So if you haven't been around to try that, basically as I describe that, I'll be describing the Yuxiao EDM as well. It is very light, it feels very hollow, and you can't turn that hard with it, otherwise you will completely lose control because of how light it is and how fast it is. And unlike with the Weilong GTS, you have a lot more options to slow it down. And that's by putting your spring compression on a higher setting to have stronger springs or have stronger magnets by moving the magnets to the outside. But I personally think that this cube needs to be fast, otherwise its inner and outer portions of the layers seem to move very weirdly and I get a lot of weird things happening like when I do these MU moves. I feel like it doesn't respond well to being slow. It is a great cube, and if you're averaging something maybe over 20 seconds, I don't think you'd even see the problems with this. And that is because you need to turn at quite a fast speed and rely on turning that fast throughout the solve in order for that to really be a problem. My opinion on this cube is you need two things for this cube to be good for you. One is you need to be able to find that setting that works for you because there are a lot of reasonable settings on this. The compression system has a good range from weak to strong springs. The magnets I do feel like make a difference and different people will prefer the stronger or the weaker setting. And it does respond a lot to lube so it's easy to change its speed if you need to on top of all of those settings. Now the other thing you need to have this cube work for you, you have to have a loose grip on the cube which I personally think is okay but I know some people are really not used to this and if you use it like you would some of the slower cubes like the Valk, then I feel like you won't have as good results on this. Its corner cutting is great, and compared to other corner cutting cubes, it is actually quite stable for that. For example, the Valk and GTS2 are more stable than a lot of the new cubes nowadays, but their corner cutting is worse. The Yuxiao EDM seems to have both, which a lot of cubes nowadays don't have. If you're worried about like hand pain and injury and you want to have a cube that forces you to actually grip it less tight, then the EDM is actually a pretty good choice in that. But I also feel like the Diane Tangyun is kind of better in this regard because if you're using it for a specific purpose, the Tangyun doubles as being the quietest cube ever. And for cubes you have to handle loosely, there's also the MF3 RS3, so those are cubes worth checking out. So yeah, the EDM is good and customizable. I think a lot of people like the feel, but not necessarily everybody. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.